Hello and welcome to this week's daily devotional. We're going to talk about a very interesting subject. We're going to talk about marriage, but more from the angle or from the perspective of preparing for marriage. Now, if you are somebody who is uh, already married, uh, I would encourage you to tune in every day. Nevertheless, more as a way of a reminder of these biblical truths concerning marriage. And of course, if you are a young person preparing for marriage, uh, you know, this this would definitely be of help to you. Uh, our, or if you know of someone uh, who or people who are getting ready for marriage, share this with them and tell them, encourage them to tune in each day this week as we talk about marriage preparation. As we begin talking about marriage from a biblical perspective, we want to, first of all, remind us that it is a good thing. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, after God put Adam in the Garden of Eden, this verse, which is very familiar to many of us, God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. So God said it is not good that being alone, being by himself, is not good. So obviously what God did in order to address that, which is to provide somebody, in this case provide Eve to Adam, somebody who was suitable for him, was a good thing. It was an antidote to that not good thing that God saw in Adam when he was all alone. And so when we think about marriage, we should look at it as God's design and something that is good, that God brought about for man, for us as people. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, the scriptures tell us, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Now, of course, it's talking from a man's perspective, but surely uh, this is true even from a woman's perspective. That whoever, or if you want to make it more generic, you could say whoever finds a spouse, find a good thing. Because you're doing, you're, you're entering into something that God designed, which he saw to be good. And you're entering into something which God instituted in order to carry out a purpose that he had in mind. And therefore, you're positioning yourself to receive the favor of the Lord. So, as you think about marriage, look at it as a good thing. And if you have been married for some time, it's always good to refresh and remind yourself that what you are in right now is a good thing. The reality in life is we go through challenges in marriage, but we must never change what God called marriage. It's a good thing. Our experience can change and come up to what God designed it to be, but don't, we cannot change God's design. Marriage is a good thing, and it was designed for our blessing, for our favor. Let's pray. Father, we thank you what your word brings to our understanding. And Lord, we ask that you'll help us have this perspective of marriage, that it is a good thing that you designed and you positioned us to receive your favor and blessing on our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.